Hello, this is Chris Strickland, and I haven't done a lot of astrology uh, videos that are informative recently. Um, I've been really busy with work. I am going through a Chiron transiting my natal Mars in Aries. It's past the, the degree, but um, I'm still kind of like dealing with it. It's getting better. Uh, but this was a major, major, major influence in my life in the last three years and probably why it's been so hard for me because I've been healing and learning things that, plus I have a yacht on the Mars, okay? <laughs> so that's God's finger pointing at the Mars. And I have my past life wounds transiting that. So it's like activating my Mars and Aries that's the best way I can explain it. So a little about Chiron, okay? Chiron is very, very, very important in your chart. It was first classified as an asteroid. Now, there is a difference between asteroids and comets. Asteroids are more rocky. They orbit the sun as well as comets, but comets are more made up of like dust and ice. It's like a ball, okay? But it has like a crazy orbit. Asteroids do, can have those too. But, you know, like Pluto has a crazy orbit. Let's just say Chiron is not an asteroid, just to update everyone. But it's very important to your self-healing. Um, I want to just put some unpopular opinions out there. Old school astrology is a little outdated, and I know that it hurts the feelings of older astrologers that have been practicing forever, but you have to understand we're progressing and we're learning more things, so we always need to keep an open mind about this stuff, okay? Close friend of mine, well, we're not so close anymore, but really confirmed this for me because I was thinking these things like, I don't believe the sign rules this planet. I don't believe this rules that. And I reached out to this person and yeah, it went from there. Uh, and I'm talking about serious joy and the 11 steps of serious joy. Um, I wholeheartedly believe that Virgo has nothing to do with Mercury at all. That's old school astrology. That's um, before we discover these outer planets. So these co-rulers and stuff, I don't give it attention. Uh, I know it's cool, more information, but really astrology is confusing enough, okay? So let's jump into this of my updated perception of astrology. And I'm also gonna incorporate Christopher Witecki's step system because I think it's really important we understand the degrees um but there is one thing about step four degree four if you have any planets at the fourth 13th or 22nd degree um it is four is Uranus Uranus but it's also our north node it's Rahu I had to listen to some other astrologers shout out to Alyssa Sharp for uh, throwing Rahu in there that helped a lot, but it's still connected to Uranus. Uh, so we'll just go down the line real quick. So degree zero, if you have any planets at degree zero, that's a Scorpio degree, that's boundary. Degree one is a Leo energy, the only Leo degree at that. Two is Cancer and that's feelings. I feel. Three, Sagittarius, I believe. Four, um, Uranus, Rahu, and Aquarius. Fifth is Gemini, and this is Mercury. And this is a whole other topic, but you know, all this religious propaganda wants you to believe 666 is the mark of the beast, when they really just want you to stay away from it. I actually believe that 555 is the mark of the beast, and we would never know that uh, officially, but it just kind of seems to fit. Six is Libra. Libra is I receive. Remember, Gemini is I think, and that's Mercury. That's Mercury, not Virgo. Five is Gemini, Mercury, the, the mind, 
and when you overthink and overthink and overthink, that is the mark of the beast. Now six is receiving, allowing yourself to receive balance, of course, Libra. Um, seven is Pisces, it's the spiritual number. This also relates to numerology and the holy planet Neptune. Um, eight is like I decide. Um, it's Capricorn, it's very serious. Like I make decisions, that's the degree that that represents. Nine is Mars, Aries, I act. So this is a little aggressive, a little bit of an de aggressive degree, but not necessarily in a bad way. The degree, the 10th degree is Taurus, I manifest. And this is what really caught me on to learn the step astrology because I realized this in my own head or pondered the thought. I don't see any relation between Venus and Taurus. Sorry, not sorry. Not saying <laughs> Tauruses aren't beautiful and very Venusy, um, but no. I believe that Taurus is ruled by the Earth. So the last degree, 11, is Virgo. Virgo is a very important sign and it is ruled by the topic that I'm fixing to get into, Chiron, the healer. What in a past life has not been dealt with? What do you fear? What are you not that good at? What are you trying to heal in this life? Because we all have a Chiron placement and you need to know what your Chiron placement is before you even get anything of what I'm about to say. So, let's get into this. 